did when he rather faded out against Iran and got uh, benched pretty quickly. He's been a very good player coming off the bench. Federico Pereira for Argentina. No good productivity from him right from the get-go here. It's the best of five sets between these two South American neighbours. Argentina in blue, Brazil, of course, in the yellow. And we are underway. It's too hot to handle there for Martin Ramos, a first point on the board for Brazil. Well, it's just swinging through there. One of the uh, Rio Olympic gold medalists. Speaking of which, here's another one, Souza. Marcelo Mendes knows that his team are going to be big underdogs in this one. Conte's not exactly handled that very well. Bit of football there from Fernando. He's kept it alive, that was brilliant. And down the line though, he's too hot from Federico Pereira. Now that will do his morale a world of good. After starting off so disappointingly yesterday. Cavana then. Setter. Floats one in. It's handled pretty comfortably and dispatched with interest. Leal has his name on the board early. Well, the problem that you have at this level is if you send in a soft serve. It's going to come smashing back at you. Fernando Di Seta with options all over the place. Eventually sent it out to Joan de Leal. That was that side out. A nice take from Fernando Conte and a nice inside take there from uh, Agustin Losser, the youngster. Really started to develop in 2018 for this Argentinian squad. Got good experience in the World Championship. Some of thinks he's got one for the future there. Is now for Argentina with Facundo Conte. Sending their beauty that's just long. Well, when you go aggressive with your serving, as you have to, you're going to get net serves, you're going to get long serves as well. It just comes with the turf. You're Andy Leal. The Brazilian block is a thing of beauty. If you try and play the power game against it, you will often come second best. On that occasion, Poglahen just decided to uh, employ a bit of finesse to good effect. So Losser will now drop back to serve. from Argentina, decent rally this, they send it far side and there's no stopping that one, Luke Carelli got uh, defended on his first spike, swung through that one, this one wasn't going to be defended, this is absolutely brilliant from Wallace, could have gone for it himself, he probably hadn't thought he was going to go for it, and he pushed it all the way up to the far side, no stopping that one, so Luke gets the skipper, very impressive spike from Federico Pereira, high elevation and angle, all working effectively for the 30-year-old veteran. He's been part of the last two Olympic squads for Argentina. Make it three in this city in a year's time. That block has done the job there on Lucarelli, so can Argentina make something happen? And it's a swing and a miss. Well, the pipe attack was set up to perfection, and Facundo Conte just got too much on it and pushed it a long way out. Wallace. Second best, they'll go for another one of those backboard attacks that's successful. That all came off the serve. That was all about the chaos that the serve caused on the other side. You have two guys going for it, and any time that happens, watch out. Brilliant bit of serving that has Conte and Donani both taken out of commission right there. The initiative swings back over. Poglahen 
Managed to get underneath it, no control on that as Wallace finished what he started. He stay on this time, Conte does a better job. Moglehead blocked out of it though, the first big Brazilian block. Now, Souza was there alongside Fernando. One of them, and it's Fernando, the setter, near side. Setters love getting blocks, just look at the elevation he's got there. So Fernando can celebrate. And Brazil going through the gears here. There will be a technical timeout when the leading team reaches eight points. They'll be coming right here again. A sizzler from Royce. But no play here, just a voice and hope there from Maike. Where did that go? Into the net and a miss from Federico Pereira. That will take Brazil to the first technical timeout. In control of this opening set, 8-4. These are the sort of things that cannot happen for Argentina. When you've got third touch there, off court, just a swing and a hoist and a hope, you've got to win that point. But Pereira gets a bunch of net cord. sizable Brazilian population in uh, Hamamatsu, which is no more than a couple of hours away from Tokyo by train. I have a feeling that uh, some of those Hamamatsu-based Brazilians are in the building here, making some noise. Meanwhile, it's uh, Wallace making waves with his serve. Got underneath that one, changed it up, went for the flat serve, and it just uh, took off on him. So a much needed side out for Argentina. We're chasing this one early as Christian Poglehen drops back. Double Olympian. Nets side out. There's Fernando in the middle there, the center, always talking, always working. Ricardo Lucarelli Souza, better known as Lucarelli. Zinger, Devon has got underneath that. Pogla hand. That's too good. Too hot. Well, Maike got underneath it, but Pereira didn't hold anything back there at all, did he? Well, it's good to see from Federico Pereira, who netted earlier, to uh, shrug that off. If Argentina were to have any chance in this match, that man's got to have a big game. No stopping that quick set, Mauricio Souza. Where do you want to put it? Well, there he is. Timing is everything. And even though there was a forest of Argentinian defenders, you just cannot deal with something coming at you from that kind of height. Hit with such authority. Souza then will now drop back to serve. Hunger has picked that up. Conte will look to send it down the line and miss. And Argentina can't afford these misses. It was a nice service pickup. Everything set up nicely for him. Okay, there's a block to beat, but he's just shunted it wide. So frustrating. So Souza will stay on. Brazil looking to open up. Bigger and bigger gap here. Poglahen handles that pretty well. Conte nets. Well, Facundo Conte is having a tough time out there at the moment. Ronald Alzotto doesn't mind about that one little bit. Not surprisingly, Argentina take a timeout.
Marcelo Mendes knew that today it was not going to be easy. Some of these Argentinian fans that are in the building are already getting that very worried feeling. It's all going Brazil's way early in this one. Souza continues with serve. Pogba had to dive for that one, but he's kept it alive. Now, where's that going to go? Losser says, thank you very much. Time out. Well, that was one of those enough is enough plays, wasn't it? And, uh, we saw Souza take down an inside spike effectively. Now Losser showing that he can play that game too. Just picked up and it's come back over on first touch. Which means trouble as Wallace drives through the other side. Big gap between Conte and Losser. Wallace exploited that to good effect. Fernando going after Conte again. The block is there, but I don't think it stayed in. Ooh, that was close. Lucas almost had a big, big bite of that. Just couldn't keep it in play. Tina trying to hold on here. Losser winning that battle. No, Lucas was so big at the net, couldn't keep it in. Trying to mount the comeback. Hello, there's a chance for them here. Losser doing some great work defensively. The pipe attack is good, really deep. And Losser gets a big assist there. A couple of pats on the back for him as well. That was huge. Very unlucky that they had to play it again there as well as Lucas totally inadvertently put it over. And then Facundo Conte nailed that one to perfection. Unfortunate that for Conte. Lucas. Well, well, well. That was close. As we approach the second technical timeout, Argentina digging in here. Federico Pereira has certainly got plenty of power on his serve. Drop a couple of aces. Really going for it. There's one right on cue. Oh, Pereira is quite a weapon. We saw it right there. That was just too hot for him to handle. When everything clicks with the Pereira serve, it does take some stopping. And Maike couldn't handle it at all. In fact, that's uh, Wallace back there. So Pereira will look for another one. Takes everything off it. That's so clever. Leal just about got underneath it and finished off by Wallace. What a dig from Leal. That was so clever from Pereira. 
He went for power, then he went for placement, and if Leal hadn't have come up with that dig, Wallace would not have been able to make that play. That's a sickener there for Argentina. They did everything right, and still it came back at them, and it's Brazil comfortable in the second technical timeout. 16-12. Well, Wallace is one of those guys that they can just rotate in and out. Yes, another one of these Olympic gold medalists. He was a silver medalist back in London. So there's a guy that's been around. They didn't play him at all yesterday. Not needed against Japan. Fresh legs coming in against Argentina. And fresh spiking arm as well. Four big, big attack points already from Wallace. And he's only just getting warmed up. Ramos is another guy that came off the bench against Japan to earn a starting place against Iran and really had a good game. 15 points and a strong presence at the net for Marcelo Mendes. Poglahen. seen what happens at this level if you play soft and conservative with your serves they just come straight back at you you have to go for it which means you will go long you will net comes with the turf. Oh, oh, oh what a serve somehow rescued but just delayed the inevitable there well, that was a serve and a half it really was wreaking havoc Initiative coming straight back, and Yuandi Leal getting an outrageous height. Tough, if not impossible, to defend that. The cross court kilt from Leal. Cruising here. Damani's picked that one up. Ramos denied. Will he get a second bite of it? Yes, he will, and he's pushed it way too long. Did it take a touch on the way through? Yes, it did. So he breathes a huge sigh of relief. Jan Martinez, a much defensive-minded player, comes in for Christian Poglahen. So they're expecting something to come steaming back at him. So Brazil jogging towards the finish line here. This first set as Mauricio Souza steps up. So, so good. Well, he's certainly been in the middle of everything for Argentina in this opening set. Mundo Conte. Bit of trickery needed to get the better of Lucas. Cavana. Sides to good effect going cross court. We've seen the down the lines, far side from Pereira. Two defenders could not get them. The meld together. To just send it straight through the gap. Still trailing here. Still looking to try and pepper the uh, the sideline and the baseline. Find those corners. Just missing. 
four more points to secure this first set. Argentina running out of time here. Danani's kept that alive somehow. The block works to take out Martinez. They'll go the other side, and Pereira manages to just scrub one off the block. Side out. Get out of the way for them, really. Yeah. Yeah. Work to kind of get that. Just a push. Martina with a chance here. Martinez, now where's that going to land? Yeah, it's going to land in, so Martinez has to take it. He'll have another go here and finds the cross court. Haven't seen a lot of young Jan Martinez. Very much a defensive player, showing a lot of offense there. Uh, volleyball's in his blood. He is the son of uh, Esteban Martinez, an Olympic bronze medalist as long ago as 1988. Uh, those genes are running in the family, and it's caused Brazil to take a time out as Argentina won't go quietly here. <laughs> They're enjoying themselves. Brazil are enjoying themselves as well. Lucas Lowe coming off the bench to replace Yoandi Leal. Haven't seen a lot of Lucas in the course of the uh, BNL this season. Back far side, Luca Relli. Haven't seen much of him in this match. They've not needed him. Not the way Leal and Wallace in particular have been causing mayhem. Luca Relli, a lurking presence down that left flank of Brazil. Always a reliable source of spikes. Lucas going with the serve. This rescue there, but it's going to come straight back, and Argentina should get this second attempt. Herrera too strong. Wallace read it. So I couldn't get any control on that dig at all when Herrera nails one. Very tough to bring it back. Tremendous dig from Fernando to keep it alive. But it was just a question of where would Argentina go? Pereira. A good first set, Pereira. And he's found a little race there. That was really well defended. And uh, a touch block on the way through from Lucarelli. Makes it sign out Brazil. Ramos desperately trying to get over there. There's a fingertip to it. Put so much on that. I forgot that Conte was pretty well placed for it as well. Just couldn't handle it. Pure speed. Too good. That'll take Brazil to set point. Timeout Argentina and another chance to see that. That's just a power play right there. Conte did well to get anything on it at all. That is how you serve. If you could bottle that, you'd be a superstar. The Wallace is. So, off the back of the timeout. And he now served this one out as well. First set pretty much secured, whatever happens here. Wallace will look for another one of those. No, he takes plenty off it. Donani scrambles to get it. That'll be taken care of by Martin Ramos. Side out. But it remains set point, and Argentina with the uh, unenviable task of trying to conjure up four points on serve. 
that's not happening. Uriarte replaces Cavana. Set a switch. Bruno Lima in off the bench. Needs extra firepower. Not so much for right now. But going forward. Expect to see Andrew Lima in the second half if he's 100% healthy. In the second section, I think. Huh? That's long. That is that. Easy as you like. Brazil jumped out early. Then you've got a four or five point deficit to chase against Brazil. It really is mission impossible. The Brazilians comfortable there. And they've drawn first blood against their neighbours. 25-20. And this is how they did it. First set by the numbers then. Let's take a look at uh, what matters. Argentina with the uh, attack points hitting very well. But just look at all those opponent errors as well. That's what's uh, been the difference maker there. Argentina will have to clean up their act. They're going to have to play near flawless to beat Brazil. And they were not flawless in that first set. Checking out some of the numbers. The Brazilian spike placement. See where they're favoring. Well, the one message to be uh, taken from that opening set. Well, Marcelo Mendes is we've got to eliminate the mistakes the self-inflicted wounds it's easy said than done against Brazil a lot of those errors come from the pressure the Brazilians put on you they don't give you anything easy well, they fought off all those match points a couple of days ago against Iran Signing set. And they were just comfortable against Japan. The host never really got close to them. So that first set. But down in four, and it's been downhill all the way. Not been expected to get much out of Brazil, and they certainly didn't get much change out of that first set. Mauricio Souza to get the second set underway. Brazil up by one set. That's a nice take down the far side from Fernando Conte. outside hitters Brazil. Just roll them off the production line. Just look at that. The Pereira 
Losser, double block, taken completely out by the quality of the cross court. Fernando puts one up in the air. He's made a bit of a meal of this. Can he do something with the third touch? Well, he can get it over. Maike rescued that. Leal goes for touch. Nice rescue from Cavana. And Pereira then gets blocked out of it. Cavana will set Pereira up again for a second attempt. Leal, brilliant. But nothing doing. A carry is called against Brazil. Really hard four point that. And a big rescue there from the setter. Maximiliano Cavana. With something and then the double touch. Argentina needed that. Conte had to do some adjustments there. That was absolutely brilliant setting. A full stretch, one handed. Fernando not only had to get control of that ball, he also had to set up a teammate. And just look at how brilliantly he's done both. Ah, oh, superb. Lucas will gobble those up all night, but it's the quality of the set that stands out there. Absolutely brilliant. They are with another Hundinger. Ooh. Are they going to get away with one here? Yes, they are, Brazil. That was uh, a rather fortuitous one. Well, you take what's available because you'll get the bad breaks as well, but this certainly wasn't how, how it was played. Expected to be played, and uh, Wallace just looking with a wry grin on his face. They say, "Yeah, well, that's not down on us, but we'll take it." Leal, side out. Dean Lasser in two nets. All part of his education. The youngster going up against the world number ones here. If you want to learn about the art of middle blocking. Look no further than this fella right here, Lucas. He two nets. Now here a chance for Argentina to try and get a point on serve with Federico Pereira. We've already seen what he's capable of with that sizzling ace that he conjured up. The backcourt is on full alert here. Now that's what you've got to do. The crosscourt denied Danani with a great dig. And uh, can he swipe off the rod there, Martin Ramos? I think he did, you know. That was nicely played. Uh, Martinez faced with a wall of three just wouldn't be denied would he said no that's mine I haven't seen a lot of Jan Martinez but maybe he's going to get a bit of playing time now in this one side out to be very patient wait for his opportunities Jan Martinez but uh, now the opportunities are coming for him Martinez whose main strength is in the backcourt as a defensive player has played a lot of libero in his time as well is uh, coming up as a constant source of offensive points here not much going on there for Brazil and yeah there goes the whistle action at the net Argentina have a lead to try and defend now Martinez, for another jumper. Tales handles. That's enough of that. This is Lucarelli. Side out. Lucarelli will now serve, looking to level it up as we approach the first technical timeout. Just long. That will be the technical timeout. Argentina with a lead. A slender one, but they are in front.
que lleguen entren con los brazos del otro lado. Principalmente la bola rápida. ¿eh? Principalmente la bola rápida. La bola rápida cuando está Maxi la van a atacar así. La salta. Te tenés que salir un poco más alto que y agarrarla de frente. La bola salta. Pero la rápida cuando está Maxi va a ir al centro de la calle. Tenemos que seguir mostrando. Tenemos que seguir usándolo. Eso es lo que le complica a él. Cuando va y viene. Well, if they want to stay in front, they're going to have to continue to feed their big hitter, Federico Pereira. Pereira has risen to the challenge thus far in the match with seven points, that one ace and six big attack points. And if he can keep the points flowing, it will continue to give Argentina a focal point for their attack. And maybe, just maybe, a chance of sneaking the second set. Martin Ramos back to serve with Argentina leading 8-6. Brazil, as we've seen, are good chasers, very good at hunting you down, and it's so early in the set. They certainly won't be uh, too concerned about what the scoreline is showing at the moment, but there's a chance here for Argentina to add to that. They're in a bad position there. That was a tough kill. Had to go for it, of course, but uh, any time you're taking it that far back, there is a very good chance that you're going to net or push it long. That's a missed opportunity for him, and he knows it. Mauricio Souza. Serves Martinez. Conte denied. Oh, that's not coming back, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what about that, Yoendi Leal? You could see it coming. Seeing it was one thing, stopping it was another. The block couldn't have done more. Cavana, Losser combining. They're just done. Height and pace and precision. And Brazil, just like that, back level. Souza will stay on serve. Donali picks that one up. They'll take it far side. Conte, too good. Side out. Really important take there. Put the setter in a strong position. All he's got to do is feed one of the wide men from there. And that was creative, but uh, not effective. He's hoping for a touch. They are going to take a look at it. Yeah, Brazil reacting very quickly there. They think they've seen a block touch. Whether they have is another matter. So each coach is allowed two challenges per set. If you're successful, you keep your challenges in place. Let's see if this got a bit of uh, an Argentinian finger on the way through. Anything there? It doesn't look like it. A good call on the floor. Confirmed in the booth. Argentina back in front. Not that it's going to stop. Those Brazilian fans enjoying the action. Just waiting for the comeback. The comeback may start right here. Again, too hot for you, I know, Leal. He is bringing some heat today, Leal just as he did yesterday. Well, the setter has got all sorts of decisions to make very quickly. Ideally, you want to put it at the guy, set it up for the guy who is best placed for the kill. But you also look for the guy with the hot hand, and Yohandi Leal is red hot right now. Talking of red hot, Agustin Losser says, don't forget me. not stopping that either if you're taking that ball while it's still on the way up it's pretty very very hard to defend it so Havana got his set absolutely right as well and Conte will go for a dipper Lucas is denied really important block there pick up there 
Nothing doing for Martinez, so they'll take it far side, and Cavana can't handle that one. It's Yadi Leal again, and Leal is really cranking up the revs here. So the man with the red hot hand at the moment will now serve. It's a beauty as well, really well taken, and the stuff block is there from Lucas. Been waiting for a long time to see Lucas take one out at the net. He'll be thinking, hey, I'm overdue. Well, he got the better of that one-on-one -on -one duel with Agustin Losser. Losser taking it nice and high, but Lucas reading it all the way. Lucarelli slipping in there to provide a bit of, bit of an extra block. But that was all Lucas's own work, and then the net serve. Bring Argentina back into play. Losse. Well, well, well. You wouldn't have expected Jan Martinez to come up with a one on one stuff block the way Leal has been playing, but what about this? Got it absolutely right. Spread the right arm. Gambled and won. He's had uh, plenty to say for himself since coming off the bench. And Argentina now serve up an ace as well. Well, Losser. Well, we're getting some points from strange sources here. A stuff block from Martinez. Now an ace from Losser. Those are things that shouldn't be happening. Surprisingly, Brazil have had to call a timeout on this one. That's a what's going on timeout. So on we go. Can Losser conjure up another race? <laughs> oh, got missing by much there. But it was long, only just. If that had dropped in, Argentina would have been in a terrific position in this second set, as it is. They've got something to defend here. As Lucas sends in one of those moving serves, Pereira is not going to be stopped from there. Once the service reception was taken as cleanly as it was, it was just a question of where Kamala was going to go. He said, no, Martin Ramos, I don't need you. I'm going near side. Federico can take care of that one. And Pereira did. Now, can Pereira come up with an ace? He's always got one there. Went for it. Now, game face is on here for Brazil. This is when you see them at their most obdurate. When they're trailing, they suddenly make life very, very hard for their opponents. But first, they're working there. Serves in play. That will take Argentina to the second technical timeout with a three-point lead. Are they going to level it up here?
Well, they've put themselves in a strong position here, Argentina. They can expect pressure to start coming now, though, as we reach the third phase, the business end of this second set. Jan Martinez will serve. He nets. But what a boost he's given Argentina since coming off the bench. Tiago comes in for Wallace. And Allen makes a first appearance as well. Well, we thought we might see Allen if things start getting a bit tricky for Brazil. And sure enough, Renan Dalzotto has said, right, go on, big fella, go out and make something happen. Lucarelli will serve at 14-16. Donali handles that really well, and Facundo Conte is able to finish the job, driving it straight at the feet of Maike, side out Argentina. This is grip your teeth and gut it out time. And if you can continue to execute as efficiently as that on service reception, Argentina have got a chance of winning this second set and holding on. The serve is a flat one, but it's a good one. Missed an opportunity. No, they have missed the opportunity. The call is given. And it goes against Brazil. That's why. Tiago just encroaching. Now, that's quite a gap. Even Brazil might struggle to pull this back. And uh, they've pretty much had it now. Allen, still a bit cold. His first swing is a poor one. Missed badly. Well, this second set looks like it's gone. Dals also will call the timeout just because he can. The Brazilian coach was hugely impressed with what he's seen over the last 15 minutes or so from his squad. Hasn't dampened the atmosphere in the arena, that's for sure. Never mind, I don't think if Argentina take this second set, that means we'll have a fourth set. As Lima comes back in, Cavana and uh, Uriarte switch positions as well. Argentina do platoon their setters, so that's no big surprise. Pereira coming out. As he needs a breather. So Lima will replace him. That's the switch. And the stuff block not quite able to do the job. Big, big point for Souza. Lasser almost getting a chunk of that. Is this the start of a Brazilian comeback? They need to move quickly here. Need four points on serve, and time's running out of them. The odds absolutely stacked against them here. The blocks in place. Lima denied. They'll send it over to Conte, who is too good. That was important. They snuff out one Brazilian opportunity. They'll happily play side out from here. If it turns into a side out game, Argentina win. Conte has had to fight his way through. A little sticky patch in the first set, but my goodness me, he's done so spectacularly. Oh, Leal, uh, not stopping that. Back out for Fernando. Return of Wallace as well. We've got some big bodies up there. They'll be looking for the block here if they can set it up. Nice chance there. 
that is brilliant from Federico Pereira. That was an absolutely sizzling cross court. There was no stopping it. Just look at the angle he takes on this. Lucas had committed himself trying to cover the decoy anyway, so he was out of play. Nobody was going to stop that from Pereira. Conte. Argentina closing in on this second set now. And they've got a great chance of pretty much wrapping it up right here. Pereira denied by Fernando. Wallace with a lot of work to do, and he can't come up with a winner. They'll send it over to Martinez. And he's come up with another point. And Argentina have pretty much secured this second set now. Quite a turnaround here. Conte. All the cheering going over, going on. Every time Brazil get a point, the knowledgeable volleyball fans amongst this crowd realise this is going to be one all, barring something absolutely stunning. Well, that might just uh, change the dynamic a little bit. Leal, who's been hitting as effectively as anybody, comes up with his first ace of the match. And then he went after Jan Martinez, who's a really good receiver as well. But uh, when you're serving at that speed and you're getting that much movement on the ball, you are going to get aces. As it only takes a fractional misjudgment. And that's enough for Marcelo Mendes. Any time the opposition is build, building momentum, you call a timeout, particularly if it's Brazil. They're still comfortable here, but they're not there yet. serve there's a good chance here and there's another one watch out here come Brazil now all about the Leal serve here it's caused mayhem over there the Nani getting in front of Conte coming back on first touch Lucarelli says okay we'll have that it's still odds against but if Leal can keep this level of serving up you never know Good one, Donati's got a piece of that though. Well, they'll come near side and Pereira goes into double figures emphatically. Well, everybody said at the start of this match for Argentina to have any chance, Federico Pereira is going to have to be good. And he was very good there. Neutralised the block, kept it in play. And just settled the ship down again. As uh, Isaac replaces his captain in a like-for-like -like switch. There. A rush of blood to the head there. Uh, the expats loving it. I'd be even more excited if Isaac can conjure up an ace. That would be an unexpected source of points. <laughs> Brilliant again, Pereira has pulled the trigger brilliantly to take Argentina to the brink here of levelling it up. That was a confident and authoritative strike from Federico Pereira. He has been spiking so well throughout this match. Now look for the ace serve to wrap it up, can't get it. point system that we have here this is nigh on impossible for Brazil 
although they do have one of their stronger servers back there. Can Wallace find three in a row? He's going to find one. He indeed isn't. Pereira fittingly finishes the job. Argentina stun their neighbours and make this a match. That's a surprise. And they were good value for it as well. They're level, and Brazil might just have to wake themselves up here. That wasn't expected. Argentina dominating that second set. So Argentina's set, this is how they did it. Again, they're winning on the uh, attack points. More importantly, they balanced out the opponent error slate as well. What a difference maker that has been. Look at the difference between the two teams. It's those four attack points, 14-10, Argentina winning that battle. Now let's have a look at the uh, set of contact points in that second set, and Argentina operating, operating at a very high level of efficiency. If you can get up into the high 70s in that arc, you're doing your job as a service receiving team. The set are put in a good position 78% of the time in that second set. What a difference for Brazil, whose service reception wasn't as good. And that's why Fernando had to do so much work scurrying around there. That is one area that they are going to have to tighten up. So. Uh, Maximiliano Cavana was put in a good position time after time by his teammates there. And uh, did a very good job as well of setting up his teammates, feeding the big hitters Pereira and Conte. And a uh, surprising boost that came from Jan Martinez coming off the bench as well. But taking one set against Brazil, that's one thing. Taking a match off Brazil, that's another. That's Argentina. They've uh, never led really in Tokyo. They fell behind early against the hosts. They've got going until the third set. They're always chasing against Iran. They did manage to level it up after two and then fade it away. They'll be hoping not to fade out here. Will Brazil get a reaction under Rene? Dal Zotto's stern leadership. Martin Ramos will get this third set underway for Argentina. The block is there. Positive start from Argentina. But, uh, just couldn't quite keep it in play. That's unlucky. But positive. Lacerra and Conte dominant. I think we're weak there, so some block points here. We'll carry on blocking like that. Over to the far side it goes, and Pereira places that one. Well, Pereira continues to uh, mix up his attacks. What a beautiful set from Ivana, who's having quite a game. Too hot again from Leal. He joins Pereira in the double digits club now. His tenth point of the match.
that uh, picked up. Lucas couldn't come up with the winner. Tales keeps that alive. The pipe attack comes in and makes it. Ooh, Wallace didn't leave himself much of a margin for error there. Well, it's been called Argentina's way, and Brazil are challenging that. Now, the judge with the flag actually called it good. He was closest to it, and he saw that. So his call was good. And a good challenge. That call is made there, and I think uh, he knew it as well. I don't think there's any arguments about that one. Lucas then with serve. Surprise that it was Federico Pereira with the final touch. Tremendous bit of rescue work there from Wallace and from Fernando. But their defense is dragged around the court. Easy put away for Federico Pereira. Side out Argentina. La Serre really decided to go for his serves after that ace. Continues to go for them. Doesn't miss by much again. With authority as well, Wallace. Movement on that ball. Nice take by Conte. Big, big pick up there, back court. And they get the result. Mike with a huge dig in the back court for Brazil. Well, the Libero doing his job. And then just look at that. Three to beat. No problem, says Wallace. Service reception was terrific. Finished the job just as effectively. Nice take. A decoy move there from Ramos. To freeze. Mauricio Souza. Quite drop for the blow. Argentina. Lucarelli, pretty quiet so far through two sets. He wasn't quiet there, was he? Just swiping around with Tinez. Not quite a winner, but it reacts nicely for Cavana. He just has to push it deep. Yeah, that could have gone the other side of the net, but Cavana's saying, OK. Thank you very much indeed. So, a rare attack point for the setter. He'll take that. There's a dipping serve. Nicely handled. Uh, really well handled. Well, that's Brazilian defences at their best. Too strong in the end for, from Souza. So, we approach the first technical timeout point. Brazil nose is in front here. And the veteran Souza looking to conjure something up in this serve. Donali's handled that. They send it to Conte. Side out. Got under that one, so that'll take Brazil to the technical timeout. 8 6 to the good. As Martin Ramos just floated one away there.
Daniel Oliveira ser na seis. Em cima de ele, de meio de A bit of samba flair in Tokyo as these two South Americans serve up a VNL volleyball treat for us here. Guaranteed a fourth set. Brazil and Argentina locked up one set apiece. Nothing doing there. Yes, it was. It did go the right side. It did drop the right side for uh, Argentina. Pereira picks himself up another winner. The block was there, but it's just gone the right side of the line. As far as the boys in blue are concerned. Stay in touch. Well, do anything about that. One on one with Wallace. Almost mission impossible there. Yeah, this is tough to defend. If not impossible. It's full throttle from Leal. Too many sir ace serves in this match. Overall, the quality of service reception has been pretty good. Just a couple of aces for each side. Conte. Let's see if he can get his first of the match. Ooh, it was a good one. It really was a good one. Back over on first touch. Initiative passes to Argentina and they blow it. Well, that's a miss. Federico Pereira has got to nail this one. And he's just sent it the wrong side of the line. Lucarelli putting him under some pressure, but Pereira knows that was one that had to be taken. Especially with the ball coming back on first touch. Good chance for Argentina to pick up a point on serve. The chance goes. Lucas will now serve. It's not coming back. The youngster, Lasser. Quick set. I take. See you later. Well, yes, I do. He's been really peppering that baseline with uh, some of the serves. There's another one that's just drifted long. Took all the sting out of it, but still can't uh, keep it in play. Lossi is going to have to just fine tune his serve a little bit. There's a few of those that have gone long now from him. Wallace. I don't know that really work. Martinez too strong. A huge ricochet off the block. And Jan Martinez continues to operate at a very high level of efficiency. A guy known for his backcourt work. He's also working pretty effectively on the outside as well. Six or ten points for him. A little bonus. Pipe attack. Repel brilliantly somehow. Oh, they send it near side, and that one is too good. Brazil turning up the heat here. Well, they had to win this one twice. And in the end, Wallace was not going to be. Oh, Leal was denied there, but in the end, Wallace was not going to be denied. Brilliant bit of defensive work to deny Leal. But Brazil stuck to it. That comes back the other way. Fernando Conte says we can play that game too. The pace of this third set has really picked up. That's another chip. Conte has had a few of those in this match. That's how you work the pipe attack. Level. 
Folks, we got Martinez there. Souza. duel as well so Pereira continues to tick over through this third set for Brazil are really starting to uh, find something now Ramos absolutely brilliant for a big guy but Leal not going to be denied He's chasing Pereira to be the uh, game's top scorer here Andy Leal and, uh, oh, no. that serve the initiative switches Argentina who will go backside once again. And Federico Pereira is prowling to good effect. And Cavana will continue to feed him. They've never been able to neutralize Pereira consistently. Yes, he's had a couple of misses, of course, everybody does. But he has consistently been a good source of points. Spiking really well, Pereira today. Talking of spiking well, Juan de Leal trying to match. Argentinian spike for spike. for that they are able to pick it up the block just oh, they are putting on a real show defensively here Argentina but it's Brazil with their noses in front here as we reach the second technical timeout and that was a point that could have gone either way How big could that be in the final analysis well here it is let's look at that Say getting over there, but just a bit late. Well, if Pereira has been the go to guy for Argentina, no question about who Brazil are looking for. It's Yoan de Leal who's been swinging so effectively. And been popping up in all sorts of locations as well, whether it's on the back side, or whether it's the pipe attack, or he's outside. Leal has been coming up consistently with points. of uh, conjuring up an ace. So Brazil have this third set where they want it. Conte handles that. Inside take is not good. It's a big miss. It's another one of those opponent error points that did for Argentina in the first set. And right off the back of that, Marcelo Mendes says, well, I've got to call a timeout here. Because it looks like this third set starting to unravel here for his side. Well, 
Well, who's turned up for Argentina now? Their captain, Sebastian Soleil. Uh, young Losser getting a break after that miss. That's probably a very, very wise decision. He just needs to get a recharge. He's played well. The experience of uh, Soleil now being brought into play for Argentina as they look to try and uh, shore up some of the damage here. There's a lot of damage that's been done this third set. Conte comes up with the winner there though. He's also now in double figures for the match. Oh, it's not, nice, not quite close. The initiative swings Argentina's way though as the big swing and the miss comes through under some pressure. Let's pull those points back. And immediately also says, well, I don't like the way the momentum has just switched here, so I'll call a timeout too. Been a really entertaining match so far. Locked together at one apiece. Argentina on the charge here, and Lucas Lowe comes in to give Leal a breather. As Dalzotto changes his personnel. Conte with another skimmer. The block is there. They've kept it alive as well. Like a near side, Martinez works the touch. Block. Argentina. Edging closer. Well, Martinez near side here, setting himself up. Just look at what he's got to try and beat as well. Wallace with great height and elevation. But not enough to send it back. Just missed. Swirling away, but Conte with a very, very impressive burst of serves there. Has helped get Argentina back in touch. Second set of the third set, rather, at the technical timeout. Looked like it was uh, dead and buried. Flavio comes in for Souza. Flavio's had a very impressive couple of days in Japan already. Picked up 12 points yesterday. Came off the bench against Iran when they needed him and was effective as well. And uh, they certainly need him here because Argentina are asking a lot of questions of the Brazilians. Let's see what Sole can come up with. <laughs> Got a chance here. Conte feed Martinez with a lot of work to do. He's containing here the Brazilians. Martinez has flicked that up nicely. Can he get a second bite at this? Fernando was there reading it all the way. Tales sends it back side. And off the block and out. Brazil hold firm, courtesy of Lucarelli. He just lurked and lurked and lurked. Wasn't involved at all in that rally. Martinez with terrific concentration there. Eventually, Lucarelli joins the show. Lost that one. Herrera somehow conjured and improvised something out of nothing, but here comes trouble. Trouble in the shape of Lucarelli. Oh my goodness me, he went after this one, didn't he? Oh, that was a stunner. Argentina now forced to take the time out off the back of this. It all actually came off the uh, service reception, which was uh, a bit of a nightmare. Pereira managed to improvise something out of it, but 
That was initiative Brazil, and you don't want Lucarelli building up ahead of steam down that far side like that. Oof, no stopping that. It's a couple of big points in a row here for Lucarelli. And it's just helped Brazil settle back down again. For Argentina, we're bringing some pressure. But not over yet. Well, the Brazilians have given themselves a very, very strong platform from which they should take this third set. He'll be furious if they don't. That is for sure. Wallace absolutely hell for leather on that one. Side out. Well, this isn't a bad guy to have coming up in the rotation. Pereira. Nothing doing there. That fell nicely for Flavio. And Flavio says thank you very much. Well, the net cord was perfect actually there for Brazil. the sting out of the ball and Flavio was able to say yep yeah, I can handle that and Fernando says well all right there you go take that ball still rising quick set Leon's had his breather he's back refreshed and recharged Lucarelli goes long side out can't quite finish the job here in Brazil but uh, Argentina are running out of chances as uh, there's a set of switch. And Pereira comes out as well. As Lima comes back in. As Uriarte will take care of setting responsibilities. Martinez picks that one up. Monte. Brilliant from uh, Tales. Oh, he's a tough one. Tough to find a winner from there, but it's gone over on first touch from Martinez. The block is in place and it's worked. Well, Argentina conjure up a point off that rally somehow. Uh, Conte. Tales brilliantly there, keeping that alive. That looked for all the world like a winner, but not so. Ramos was there just to repel that one. Tina still won't go away. That's one of those points they need. It's not perfect either. No, the block's too good. Well, they were put in a bad position there, and Bruno Lima has made them pay for it as well. So Argentina right back in business here. This is a stunning response. And no surprise to see Brazil burn their second time out here. Well, it's Leal. One on one with Lima. And Lima, who was brought in for his big hitting on the outside has come up with a huge stuff block to level this second third set up. That's quite a comeback. He's not happy at all. Brazil had this set right where they wanted it. They're just enjoying themselves. They're too happy. Brazil toss away this third set. But they've been in good voice throughout this match. It's going to take something to sh shut them up, that's for sure. That is back to business for Brazil. Flavio again. Taking it so early. Can they win a point on serve with Argentina for a side out? No lever. Big point for them. This is the uh, phase of the set where the one thing you want to avoid is the error mistake that gifts a point to the opponent could prove to be the difference between winning and losing this set right here what's caught from Wallace is missed talking about opponent errors Argentina
grab the initiative now in this set. Brazil are having a chase. This becomes a huge point. Ramos serves. Take it over there to Leal. The block was good. Oh, well, yes, it was. Yes, the, the call goes Argentina's way. Another error from Brazil, who are, of course, going to challenge this as it goes to set point. Well, he's absolutely right to challenge this one. It's the uh, foot over the line. Well, that was the call made near side. He's hoping that the call stands up to scrutiny. Brazil are hoping that it doesn't. This has been quite a turnaround here in this third set, and this is the big moment. Is it set point? Is the whole... Ooh, I think they got him. I think they got him. That looked pretty clear. If the whole of the foot goes over the whole of the line, that's a foot fault. And that's set point. Ramos serving. This has got to be perfect, and it's not. It's another miss. Well, Brazil just collapsing there. Error after error after error, and Argentina have capitalized on them. They're going to have to challenge that on set point, of course. They'll look for the block touch. Well, this really is just hoping for the best here. So Argentina can't celebrate yet. Renan Dalzotto is hoping that there's something here. Nothing lost, of course, if he's got nothing. Because at the moment, as it stands, the set is over, unless there's an overturn. Well, you can see there from the reaction from Sebastian Sole. He said to his coaching staff, no, don't worry, we're OK, we're OK. But are they OK? Oh, my goodness, it's grazed the shoulder of Facundo Conte. What a challenge. Brazil, stay alive. Oh, how close for Argentina to securing this set. As it is, they still have a chance because Fernando has got to conjure up a serve that will put them under pressure here. What an opportunity still for Argentina. Set point. Fernando's serve, handled by Martinez, it's not good, but it's taken brilliantly. But no, the fault, the fault goes against Argentina. He was under pressure, the setter, Uriarte, and he's got over the net. Sole with the finish, nothing wrong with that, but the call goes against Uriarte. And that was off the service reception from Martinez. Oh, my goodness me, they thought they'd got the... They thought they'd had it wrapped up. He will challenge this. Is he allowed to? No, he's not. Fernando very quickly gets the serve off, doesn't he? That's picked up by Maike. Fernando's kept it alive. Hoist and hope time for Brazil. Argentina looking to regroup here. They'll send it over to Conte. The pancake is good. Far side, Leal. Where's that going to go? Chaos here. And in the end, finished in some style, a big, big point. What a rally. My goodness me. Nerves jangling everywhere. Now Sole kept the coolest head there. Meanwhile, what's going on here? Oh, I think everybody's happy now. A uh, word to the uh, officials there about the uh, speed of the serve that came in from Fernando. It's all a bit irrelevant after a rally like that. It's set point again. Oh, it 
is Lucas. opportunities here comes Tiago to pitch hit Lucas will check out and they brought Tiago on to try and conjure something up off serve that won't do it the block is there Martinez denied he'll get a second bite at it denied again Third time lucky, they go to Pereira far side, and no mistakes this time. Big Federico Pereira takes Argentina to another set point. Remember, they thought they had the set wrapped up. Can they win it here on the Sole serve? Oh, there's a chance. That'll do it. All off the service reception that was mishandled, and Argentina dragged themselves back. Well, 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 what an eventful finish to that third set, to that third set as well, where Argentina thought they'd won it. And lost the opportunity. The call was good. And the call went against them. A quick serve annoyed them. But they regroup brilliantly, and they have taken this third set. Let's review the big plays. So the third set by the numbers then. So Brazil actually winning the battle of attack points just, but those two block points have proved to be significant. Opponent errors neutralized again. Tight one that, but uh, Argentina will look at, say, we came from behind to win that one. Well, let's have a look at some of the contact points that we've seen over the course of uh, the match. Down the lines of cross courts, that's where they've been making contact. Leal leading the way. Wallace and Lucarelli tucked in just behind him. That's how the Brazilian spike points have hit. As for Argentina, and that's their spread with Pereira leading the way. And a surprise contribution from Martinez as well, who's come off the bench to very good effect for the Argentinians. Well, they've had a bit of everything, Argentina. Shut out by Japan. And uh, losing in four to Iran when they so nearly took that fourth set before losing a marathon 34-32. Close to a decider there, at the very least. They've managed to take this into a fifth set against their rivals. 
the reigning Olympic champions, the world number one is Brazil, who will have to come from behind to win this one in five. They did it before, they did it against Iran. So Argentina won't be celebrating anything just yet. Nevertheless, a 2-1 lead. And significantly taking that third set against the Brazil side who seemingly had it wrapped up. Well, that's produced quite a reaction on the Brazilian sideline. And you wonder if Argentina are going to get on the back end of that reaction as we start this fourth set. The one thing Brazil will not want is to start slowly. And yes, that's a coaching staff that's not too happy with the way things are going here. Marcelo Mendes hoping to uh, finish in Tokyo with a huge win. Well, one more set will secure it. It's 2-1 Argentina as we get ready for set four. Brazil will be looking to take this to a tiebreaker. First, they've got to win this set. Big serve, Martinez handled it very, very well indeed. That's what they wanted. Soleil with the impact. Well, he's made uh, a big impression since coming in for young Losser. Scrubbing one off the block there. Wallace off the reverse set. There's the shoulder of uh, Conte again. Just as we saw at the end of that third set. Here's Isaac. pick up there from Isaac Pereira yeah clever oh no now he's pushed it out I thought he managed to scrub it off the block but he couldn't get the touch right idea just couldn't quite execute here Pereira that's a really big pick up from Isaac he'll stay on two of them going for it look how far the uh, setter had to come for that and of course that's always going to create problems swing and a miss from Facundo Conte but uh, put that down to the quality of the serve that had them all over the place on the other side of the net and it's Brazil who make the early breakthrough here in set four Isaac sends in one, which Facundo pick, Facundo Conte picks up off the floor. Pereira's blocked out of it. Conte just has to push over there. Oh, misses. Wallace got too much on that. Conte then. Tales picks that up. Oh, Lucarelli was in trouble there. A block point for Federico Pereira. And Argentina level it up. Was not put in a good position here at all, Lucarelli. And one on one, Pereira wins that duel with a big, big chunk of net helping out as well. That'll take him to 19 points. Ooh, that's a good serve. Can they get something back on this? Uh, again, they've had to stretch and reach any time you see service reception like that. The initiative will pass over to the serving team. And uh, if there's another point goes Argentina's way here, there may well be a Brazilian timeout because this is uh, an early turnaround here. Three points in a row. Can they make it four? It's a big serve again. Lucarelli, too good this time. Brazil needed that just to settle things back down again. A 
really good serving. Tales couldn't do much more than just to put it up in the air there, and Lucarelli able to come in and join the double figures club just like that. His tenth attack point of the match levels this fourth set up. Oh yes, beautiful, straight down the line, no messing. I think Brazil were looking far side. Thinking, well, hello, is this going to go? And it wasn't. It was a reverse set. Inside, near side rather, to Pereira, who now takes his tally to 20 points. What a productive day he's had. Big response from him after the disappointment of playing Iran yesterday when he never really got himself going. Now, Cavana with options here. He'll send it backside again. Same result, this time the cross court instead of the down the line. Pereira mixing up his spikes. That's a good effect. Well, he's having some fun today, Pereira. Pretty much a no show yesterday. Well, he's been here, there, and everywhere for Argentina today. 20 points he got against Canada in the first round of matches. He surpassed that 21 on the night for him here. And Argentina. Continuing to roll here. Well, that might just come to an end there. And Flavio getting a bit fed up with how this is shaping up. Flavio in for Lucas. And showing no signs of uh, being ready to go back to the sideline either. Brazil looking to level it up again. Nice pick up there from Martinez. And an equally good pick up there as well from Wallace, who's going to take this one. Well, it's uh, Lucarelli saying that's mine, but there is a call goes against Brazil. That's going to get challenged. challenge was for apparently it's been um, cancelled well, uh, they are challenging and they're challenging what happened at the uh, at the net there well it's the attack hit was there a, a fault at the attack and there was well somebody's got some eyes on that Brazilian bent on the sideline seeing the attack hit fault And uh, off the back of it, Pereira nets. So that's uh, Argentina's rhythm broken here. Well, we're still not entirely uh, on the same page here. move on Flavio looking to level it up stuffed out of it Pereira that may well have been Isaac if it wasn't Isaac Leal was right alongside him it's a question of who they're gonna go in fact it's not even either of them it's just nothing but nylon here from Facundo Pereira yep so just like that the uh, lead has gone Martinez is blocked out of it. No nine on there. That was all about the big three. So Brazil, off the back of that terrific call on the attack hit fault, have just seized the initiative here. Big, big block from Isaac, who's been pretty quiet tonight in terms of uh, offensive weaponry. And he comes up with the stuff block there as the gang of three wipe out Martinez. And Brazil, who had the early lead, then tossed it away. Looking to build up some momentum again here. And it all turned around off that terrific call on the attack hit fault. Uh, Pereira continues to be the key man for Argentina if they are to uh, come up with the big win here. 
He's going to have to keep on going. 21 points, a VNL season high for him. But it can't stop there. Come up with some defensive points. And mixing up the cross courts and the down the lines to very good effect. Those are his numbers so far. Some return to form for Pereira after his early struggles in yesterday's match that saw Marcelo Mendes say, well, I think I'll sit you down. We didn't see him again. And we're seeing plenty of him here. Too much as far as he's concerned. Now, set that one a bit too long. Martinez then to serve. Tales picks that one up. Isaac blocked out of it, but it's going to stay alive here. Leal on third touch, just has to send it over. Conte's blocked out of it. Now, who got that? Was it Isaac? Was it Fernando? It was Fernando leading the cheers. But this might be big Isaac coming up big time again. That was rather fortuitous that it came off the thigh of uh, Isaac there. Looked like a clean winner. For Ramos, and then just to really rub the Argentinians' faces in it, Fernando is credited with his second block of the match. He'll now serve. Well, Conte's not made a very good job of that at all. No play available there. Uh, uh, all about service reception. And Facundo Conte gave his set and no chance there. So Brazil now grab the initiative back again. Been a funny set, this. One team's been hot, the other team's been cold. Uh, it's Brazil's turn to get hot again. Fernando. Oh, that needed to be a winner, and it's not. Leal. Yeah, he finds the winner. Well, it's another missed opportunity there for Argentina, and Leal goes to work, makes some pay near side. Well, the blockers were there, but uh, they couldn't stop it. And there's no stopping Brazil at the moment. The only way you can stop him is by calling a timeout, which Marcelo Mendes has done. Well, they come from behind before Argentina. They're going to have to do it again here. That's Brazil. They put themselves in a comfort zone. Fernando will continue to serve. That's a bit more like it. Martin Ramos gets Argentina back up and running. with serve one-handed set oh my goodness the ball goes against Argentina contact at the net is the call oh there it is as well yeah, he knew it Ooh, there's another zinger coming in Pereira denied, that was uh, Baike, brilliant, but then the block comes in as well off the back of it for Kundo Conte. Uh, both teams playing a bit of D on this point, and it was a really nice pick up there from Maike. Uh, Fernando had to scramble to get anything, which meant that the block had time to get set, and for Kundo Conte just wiped out Lucarelli. 
foot right underneath that one, didn't he, Lucarelli? And Argentina coming back again. Manat with a flat serve. Ooh, Isaac blocked out of it by Sole, so they'll go back side. Oh, well, well, Wallace. <laughs> will be challenged, of course. This is a big moment right here. Did Wallace get something on it? Yes, he did. Plenty. Good call. On one challenge burned by Argentina. Isaac. Too good. Sole. He's really solidified the middle since coming on for Argentina, their captain. Conte then. Goes long. costly indeed. Martinez doesn't indeed get anywhere near a fingertip touch. Oh, swinging wildly out there. So Brazil now with a bit of space. And Wallace will stay on. Conte's got under that one. And blocked out of it. Flavio wipes out Sole. And that'll take Brazil to the technical timeout. Comfortable here in this fourth set. And we look like we're heading for a tiebreaker. Well, he's been pretty strong since coming on, Sole, but in the one-on-one -on -one duel between the two big middles, only one winner here. Flavio spread himself and uh, got the break his way. Well, Lucarelli has been pretty much contained because uh, Fernando has just been uh, spreading the load around. So Lucarelli relatively fresh at the moment. They'll be looking for him to go to another level. Wallace and Leal have been uh, the main workhorses, but Lucarelli now very much in harness for Brazil. As things get serious here. The cheerleader select section still in full voice. That journey up from Hamamatsu, is it going to be worthwhile? Kamana has to do a lot of work there. And Martinez can't find a winner. Lucarelli picked that one up and then they'll take it all the way over to the near side where Yoande Leal pops up and just destroys the block. Well, important defensive work again. And then Leal faced with a block. It's too good. So, fresh legs come in. Ezekiel Palacios, another one of those big hitters. And Jan Martinez it will sit down after a very, very long spell from him. They go for a little bit more height and a bit more power now. Facing a big deficit here in this fourth set. And they went straight after the new man, Palacios, who dug it out really nicely. Well, Brazil doing the right thing. Seeing how warm Palacios was, well, he was right on it. The reverse set for Pereira. He hasn't missed many of those in this match. Mm -hmm. 
Sole. Not the best. <laughs> well, they rather got away with it. Another bit of improvised setting, one-handed. Off that pickup. Flavio. Finishing the job for Brazil, who have this fourth set comfortably under control now, and it's going to take an awful lot for them to blow it from here. Wallace with an ace. Poor old Facundo Conte, a despairing dive. Lost the flight of that completely. You wonder if he might have been unsighted as that one came in. Well, no, it's just clever placement, isn't it? Palacios and Conte bisected. Palacios didn't even move for it. Conte just couldn't get there in time. Big time ace there. And that surely has settled this one. Argentina will call the timeout, but it's far too late now. We are going to a tiebreaker. So on we go. So another sizzling serve. Conte got under that one, though. Great defensive work again. Leal, too good. And a big, big assist goes to that man right there, Maike, for a tremendous bit of defensive rear guard action here. Talk about not giving up on the play. That's the definition of it right there. Brilliance from the Libero. And they've conjured up a point out of it and Brazil are flying at the moment Pereira checking out as Lima comes in and a switch of setter as well sees Uriate in for Cavana no, nothing doing there Lima with a miss Oh no, it's taken a touch. Call's been overturned. And correctly overturned by the look of that. Oh yeah. Nice forward set there for Flavio, who will gobble that up. And any chance of an Argentina revival instantly snuffed out. Brazil will happily just side out from here with this huge lead. And mentally, everybody getting ready for the tiebreaker here. Lima, too good. Taking a really nice angle there. Tough to defend that. Side out. Yeah, two man block in place, but Lima has just left them stranded. And nothing Leal could do near side. Palacios goes for a big one. Might as well go for it all on your serves at the moment. But the gap is this big. So Palacios will sit back down again. And uh, the more defensively minded Martinez comes back in. Fernando then back to serve for Brazil, needing three more points to level this one up. A little bit of creative setting needed and didn't work. And Uriate come up with something this time. Clever, nicely done. Bruno Lima given assist to Uriate there. Had to make some big adjustments at the net. One handed there, a pushover from Ramos. Stayed alive and then Uriate says, right, OK. Bruno, off you go. He's just managed to skim it into no man's land. So side out Argentina. I 
That's a couple of those Wallaces missed. Ramos. Zuriate doing some great work defensively. Lima, though, is blocked out of it by Isaac. Oh, yeah, and yet another attack coming in from Sole, who arrived from deep. And Brazil don't like the way this uh, is going. There he is, look at them, they're queuing up. Very, very hard to defend that. So, with Argentina threatening a revival here, Brazil decide just to uh, take the momentum away and call their timeout. The odds stacked against Argentina here. Brazil leading just three points. Ramos drops one in at Lucarelli. And Isaac is too good for Solo. Brazil's top scorer then, Leal. Martinez just about got under that, but there's no play available there at all for Conte. There's nothing doing there for Lucarelli either. Conte far side goes cross court to good effect, side out. Really hard earned point there for Argentina. And Uriate saying, well, you've got a really nice angle there for the cross court. Don't get it done. Conte said, OK. Here's Lima. It's a zinger that just over-zings. That will take Brazil to set point. Here's Isaac then serving for it. Hello. We're going to challenge this. Well, it took his time there, Marcelo Mendes. You might as well challenge at this point. Was it in or was it out? Well, it looked like a good call. I think that was more of a hope for the best challenge. Now play can resume. Isaac then serving to wrap it up at two apiece. No, he nets, side out. But now comes the tough, if not completely impossible part of the equation for Gundo Conte needs four points on serve. And it's not happening. And he knows it. Brilliantly kept alive somehow. Martinez can't find a winner though. Lucarelli takes care of that. And the block. Sole takes out Wallace. Well, Wallace thought he'd won it first time. Some incredible rear guard action from Argentina. And they get what they deserve as well. That is absolutely brilliant pancake from Donani. How on earth has he got under that? That is the pancake of the match. And then Wallace. Nothing doing. Pereira comes in to provide some defensive beef up front. They've got a lot of big bodies up there at the net as they try and 
conjure up a block here. One point saved. Still three needed. Conte. Oh, it's a good one. Well, they've got a great chance here. Conte will go for it on the attack hit as well, and that's two points saved. Well, it looked like mission impossible. They're halfway there, and they forced Brazil to take a timeout. Everybody knew this was an impossible position for Argentina, except the players. They said four points in a row. We can do that. Well, there's two of them. Well, if Argentina secure this point as well, that really will have nerves jangling. Facundo Conte has come up with a couple of big ones. He has to stay aggressive on serve, of course. No point going conservative at all. That runs the risk of the long serve or the net serve. But so far, so good. Conte continues. It's another really good one, but Brazil have handled that, and uh, Lucarelli can't find a winner there. Martinez has kept it alive. Martinez is going to have to swing through this one. Can't do it. Brilliant work from Sole. Pereira blocked out of it. There's a call there that goes against Brazil. Well, that is some incredible defense. Must have been contact at the net on the Brazil side. They just wouldn't give that point up. Well, at 24-20 down, Argentina have just found a whole new level here. Some unbelievable work. And what about his pancake earlier as well? Conte serving. Not another one. Oh, it had to happen. What a shame for Argentina. They came so close to pulling off something extraordinary there. But Brazil, he breathed a huge sigh of relief. They've leveled this up at two sets apiece. But my goodness me, they were scared at the end of that fourth set. And if Argentina can carry that momentum into the tiebreaker, which is a race to 15, remember, who knows, they could yet finish the job here. Brazil, for the second time in three days, are going to be dragged into a five-setter. They hung on here. This is how they did it. Well, that was eventful, wasn't it? Let's have a look at the uh, numbers. Argentina again winning on the attack hits. Plenty of blocking, couple of aces for Brazil early. And the opponent errors helping the Brazilians out, but they were hanging on there at the finish. The good news for Brazil is they won the toss ahead of the tiebreaker, which is that sprint to 15. And they have elected, as expected, to receive. Try and get ahead early, put the pressure on Argentina. What well, you cannot do in the tiebreaker is get off to a slow start. There's just no margin for error here at all. So which one of these South American rivals is going to be smiling in about 20 minutes time? Brazil have been battle hardened already. They went five sets against Iran two days ago. They went five sets against Australia when they really had shuffled their pack. And the Aussies pushed them so hard in Poland. They came out on the right side of both of those, of course. But if they want to keep their perfect VNL record intact, they're going to have to win this one.
Ross, it's wins that count the most in the event of a tie. It's points that will uh, come into play. And if you win a set, or win a match in five sets, you only get two points as opposed to three for a victory. The losing team will pick up a consolation point. So if uh, nothing else, Argentina have secured themselves a point as they look to get back to winning ways, having dropped three in a row. A win here for Argentina keeps them very much alive in a race for a spot in the finals. Unlikely as that may be at the moment, if they can finish on a high here and get past the world number ones in five sets, that will stand them in good stead for the remainder of the VNL. The Renan Del Zotto's squad, we know, can pull it out when they need it. Can they conjure up another five set win here to stay perfect? Or will Argentina? seal the deal they finished that fourth set so strongly Argentina can they carry that momentum over into this tiebreaker it's a race to 15 Pereira is back in of course for Argentina you have to win by two clear points but the magic number is 15 if you can get there you're the winner Conte will stay on serve Tales back in there's an emphatic pick up there off the Isaac block or the Isaac spike but the Isaac block comes in and it's first blood Brazil and that was all about Isaac thought he had a winner there Danani with yet another dig backcourt boy he's come up with some big ones today and then having uh, been denied once Isaac said you're not going to stop me twice his second block point of this match Brazil's sixth they match Argentina Isaac goes for the serve. Martinez picks that one up. Near side. Too good from Pereira. No question that he'll be the go-to guy for Maximiliano Cavana. Martin Ramos. service reception that's got Wallace in a bit of a bind yeah that's uh, that looks like a swing and a bad miss but he was put in a really bad spot there Wallace off the service reception so Ramos will continue Leal picks that one up Wallace Rubs one off the block there, so late. Got a chunk of it, but no chance of that dropping in. It was uh, careering off at quite an angle. Side out, Brazil. With Wallace. Ooh, it sneaked over. The attack hit, denied. Conte, though, now turns setter. Nothing doing there for Pereira, but it did take a touch from Brazil. Pereira goes the other way. Brilliant from Fernando, but that's coming back over from Maike. Nothing there for Martinez except a little dink, and that got picked up by Fernando. Here comes Wallace. Watch out. Brazil take that one. That was a grinding where you're down kind of point. Brilliant there from Fernando. As it looked like Pereira had conjured something up. And then eventually Wallace saying, I've had enough of this. 20 seconds plus, too long for us guys. That's a long old rally. He'd had enough of it. So Brazil reclaimed the initiative. Argentina now under pressure. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, that's a big miss from Martinez. That's the kind of mistake that can cost you a match in the tiebreaker. Had to have that. So Wallace looking to keep the pressure on here. Donati takes care of that. Pereira with a big, big hit.
too big there, Pereira. So there's Lucarelli. He's had one ace serve. Another one here. Will put Brazil in a very strong position. Donani again has done so well. Martinez, who missed it last time, gets blocked this time. Fernando will send it out, and no stopping Leal there. The quality of the block from Brazil was the key there. The Martinez spike repelled, and it came back nicely for Brazil, and Leal able to swing through that one. And Brazil on course now for yet another five-set victory. Poglehen comes in as Martinez will check out. <laughs> and a timeout has been called by Marcelo Mendes. They're chasing it again. that time out Lucarelli nails an ace into the corner and that surely is enough for Brazil well he saw the gap said well there you go get that couldn't have been more perfect dropping it right on the baseline tucked into the corner Poglahen could only just watch it go by him Lucarelli with his second ace of the match surely that is Argentina's resistance broken. Antonelli picks that one up. Herrera, too good. Well, you've got to bring Bruno Lima in. The uh, set the switch again. Cesar Uriate coming for Cavana. Bit of an eyebrow raise that uh, Pereira is out with Lima in because they need points. But uh, maybe Marcelo Mendes is thinking of his blockers. Get the big bodies in there. Pogla him then, serving at 4 7. Boy, do they need some points on serve. Unlikely to get it off a serve like that. Never know though. The serve was badly mishandled. It wasn't a very demanding serve and Conte can make a pay for it a real shock there the Brazil made such a mess of service reception maybe they didn't expect something coming in as flat as that and uh, Argentina get a surprise boost there Conte driving that one through the block well, there's one of those points retrieved they need three now will Poglihan mix it up here Caught them napping with the earlier one. Let me bring a bit more heat on this one. Let's see. No, stay safe. Who really handles that much better on Leal puts it away, side out. Probably all the Brazilians thinking, well, we should have done that one with the first point. Leal sending it past Lima. Driving it down the line. So at the change around, Brazil have it where they want it. Oh, 
Well, the Brazilians are happy now. The rotation in place. Flavio with serve. Conte with the put away to keep Argentina on the board again. It's stay a lifetime for the boys in blue. Conte has done his share. He really has. Pereira stands out with his 26 points, but Conte has been the engine behind Argentina today. Kept them ticking over. Sebastian Sole has given them something extra coming off the bench as well. Pickup for Muriate, absolutely brilliant there. Oh, they've won the point off the back of it as well. What about that dig from Nicolas Uriate? The center just picked that one up from Isaac, who thought, I got a clean winner all the way. Here goes Isaac, that's a winner. No, it isn't. Uriate says, That's mine. And off the back of it, Facundo Conte says, You don't want the point, we'll take it. Thank you very much. Argentina are refusing to go quietly again. Sole with another one of those serves, and again, he can't find a winner. Isaac denied. Where's that going to go? It dropped out. It dropped out. Now the point goes to Brazil. And I think they're breathing a sigh of relief on that side of the net. Argentina just sinking their teeth into the Brazilian shirt tails here and just won't be shaken off, will they? Fernando. Uh-oh. Conte, yeah, blocked out of it. That was all off-service reception there. Conte, the block came up, but couldn't keep it in play, so they get lucky there. You know, this could have been trouble, as it is. Argentina, stay right there. They need one point on serve. Remember, they needed three not so long ago. They might have a little chance here, unless Wallace can come up with something. They can't, he can't. Argentina have erased a three-point deficit in the tiebreaker. And Wallace facing all those blockers, and it's Conte who seems to be everywhere in the moment for Argentina, coming up with the tip that sends it back and forces Brazil to call timeout. Their lead wiped out. This one up for grabs in the tiebreaker. Well, if you get a three-point lead in the tiebreaker, you really expect to just go on and win it, and Brazil may well do that. But they're going to have to grind it out from here. A gritty show of defiance again from Argentina. Who almost came back from the dead in the fourth set. And they've revived here again in the tiebreaker. Lima with the serve. Tales handles that. Near side, nothing doing at all for Leal, who's blocked out of it. Conte seems to be absolutely everywhere for Argentina at the moment. This is inspired from him. Not sure if he got the touch here or whether it was Ramos. It was, of course, Conte. Well, the message for Brazil is find out where Facundo Conte is and keep it away from him. Isaac has had enough. That's the third time he's had a big inside spike. The first two have come back at him. The third one wasn't going to. That is the definition of no-nonsense. So, side out. Oh, Danani 
again. And Ramos can't find a winner. Brazil looking to reset here. And Isaac says, you know what? Maybe it's my time. Back to back points from the big middle. Uh, once they manage to just contain that spike, Argentina were always struggling, and Isaac has decided to dial it up a few notches. And Donani, who's picked up so much for Argentina in that backcourt, couldn't get that one. Cabana comes back in. So, too, does the big hitting Pereira. The same double substitution for Marcelo Mendes that we've seen throughout the course of this match. Now, can Brazil go through the gears here? And Argentina stay with them. Oh, it's just gone wrong. Oh, my goodness. How close from Leal. Can have a look at that. They're thinking about it, you know. They are. It was close. Any part of the ball touches that line, it's in. But it is out. Good call. It was close, though. Worth a look. Both sides can see the winning post. But maybe 15 is not going to be enough here. As uh, Lucas Lowe comes back in. Once again. Conte. They went after the new man Lowe. And Isaac again. Well, when the pressure is on, you look for somebody to step up big time. And that has been a one-man wrecking crew in the middle of the court there, offensively, Isaac. Three big points from him. And Brazil need three more points to get themselves over the line, but first they need a bit of a gap to open up. They need to win a point on serve. Isaac went for it all there, side out. Well, they still have the initiative here, Brazil, because Argentina are playing the chasing game until they get a point on serve. They conjure up a point here through Martin Ramos, a versatile player. Ramos just died on them a little bit, but it was taken by Flavio. With Isaac on the bench, Flavio stepping in and saying, We've got a few middle blockers that know how to kill straight down the gut. There's another one. If Brazil get a point on serve here, they are at match point. Wallace sends a big one in. Coglahan blocked out of it. Blocked out of it. Very unlucky there. But it does indeed take them to match point. Coglahan was not put in a good spot there. A long way off the net. Are they going to get a look at this? Look at that. Three to beat. This comes straight back at him off the Fernando block. Fernando is delighted. That's his third block point. And it takes Brazil to match point. Oh, they can almost exhale. They're nearly there. Is it going to be party time for these Brazilian fans in just a few moments? It's Wallace serving for the match. Oh, that's a good one. This is it. That'll do it. Lucarelli takes the overpass, smashes it back. And Brazil do it again. The fifth set Kings come up big time when they needed to once more. A gritty effort from Argentina. You have to feel so sorry for them. They just wouldn't quit, would they? But in the end, it's been in vain. Three defeats in a row, four in total now in the VNL for Argentina. That's going to be a tough one to take. They left everything on the court, though. They got nothing left. But it's the Brazilians 
who come out on top of this one. It's all South American battle as expected, but they had to do it the hard way again. They are unbeaten in six VNL matches this season, but three of those six have gone the five sets. This is how they won it. Well, let's just have a look at the numbers from that absorbing five-setter. Argentina attacking so well, winning the battle of the blocks. Well, in the final analysis, those opponent errors, 42 of them over the five sets, have cost them. Well, let's have a look at Brazil's top spikers. That's where they've been spiking. A pretty even spread, as you can see, with Leal leading the way. Wallace and Lucarelli all in double figures. And Brazil just about hold on for what was a very important victory. They stayed perfect in this year's VNL. My goodness me, they had to fight so hard for it, didn't they? Well, delight then for Brazil in this South American special. They go home happy. Argentina go home licking their wounds. We've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed it too. Until next time, thanks for being part of the game.